Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro. Good morning, everyone. We start the day talking about the tropics. All eyes on Tropical Storm Henri, which is set to make landfall in southern New England within the next few hours. I do want to mention right now the center of circulation is going to be passing just to the east of Montauk. So earlier today, this was a Category 1 hurricane, but hurricane hunters flew in and noticed that the sustained winds went down to 70 miles per hour. But either way, this is a strong tropical storm and will be making landfall somewhere between Rhode Island and Connecticut a little bit later with those 70 mile per hour sustained winds. So the entire area, especially the shaded colors that you're seeing on your screen under hurricane warnings as well as tropical storm warnings, they can expect very heavy rainfall, the potential for flooding. But most of the gusty winds and any tornadic activity will be staying on the east side of this system. And it is expected to weaken as we head into early early next week and then push off into the east on Tuesday as well as Wednesday. And that's not the only thing that we are tracking in the tropics. This area of very weak low pressure does have a 10% chance for formation within the next five days. But you're probably wondering, hey, we're getting closer and closer to the peak of hurricane season. Why is there not a lot of activity? Well, we are seeing some late season Saharan dust that's moving off the west coast of Africa, pushing across the tropical Atlantic and will be moving into Florida as we head into the middle of next week. So you can actually track some drier air beginning on Wednesday. But we are right here where this uh, arrow is and just about 19 days away from the peak of hurricane season on September 10th. So with that being said, make sure that you do have a hurricane plan in place just in case anything does make its way toward Florida. As for conditions right now, 78 out at Daytona Beach, 80 in Leesburg, 75 in Ocala. We start the day off rain free, but we are going to be seeing an increase in shower and storm activity. West Coast Sea Breeze is dominating, but you can see the East Coast Sea Breeze getting active by 3, 330. Then the collision of those storms will be happening just to the east of the I-4 corridor. Afternoon highs today do stay elevated at 96 degrees in Sanford, 93 in Ocala, and 94 in Lakeland. And those feels like temperatures soaring into the triple digits could be as high as 110 in Leesburg a little bit later this afternoon. So don't forget to pack your water wherever you are heading out across East Central Florida today and you will need to reapply your sunscreen because the UV index remains high. And then that Saharan dust, like I mentioned on Wednesday, drops those rain chances down to 30% coverage and they stay relatively low as we end your work week and head into next weekend. Right now it's time for our Snap the Sun segment. This is from Valerie out at St. Cloud. A beautiful shot there. Oh my goodness. Usually when I take pictures of the sun, you don't get all those colors but this is beautifully taken. So thank you so much for sharing. And if you have the picture of the sun that you'd like to see right here on Good Day Orlando, just go to Twitter and use the hashtag SnapTheSun. Allison, thank you. A disabled